Hello everybody, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. So today's video, as you saw by the title, we will be doing a shop mustache. You guys know the drill. So, this shop mustache is going to be different um, because I am going to be showing you the products that I, I used um, like I usually do. But when I, we go to shop my stash, I'm not going to be picking a full face of makeup like I usually do. I'm going to just be picking standout products that I want to focus on this week. So, um... I saw this girl, she only picks like five products, and I was like, why would you pick like an eyeliner, a lipstick, and that's it? Is that all you use in the week? But no, what happens is she actually just rotates whatever foundation she wants to wear, whatever primer she wants to wear, and then she uses, she makes sure that she's using that one mascara that week, or that one eyeliner that week, um, to kind of focus on those products. So I thought that was a really great idea, because I'm feeling a little like I'm in a rut, because I don't want to use the same eyeshadow palette for the entire week. Um, I also don't want, like I don't want to use all of the same products for the entire week I want to be able to like um, wear one foundation one week one foundation this day whatever I want to be able to do that and um, but there are some products that I feel like I don't rotate enough still so I feel like I'm gonna rotate certain products just not all of them um, and then I also wanted to mention in no uh, September October why well, I why don't I know months October this entire month I'm actually not going to shop my stash for the month of October um, because I'm getting really tired of it. So what's gonna happen is this month, I'm going to um, pull a bunch of the cup few products that I wanna foco focus on. This week, I'm gonna pull a bunch of products that I wanna focus on. And then October, we're gonna kind of, um, I'm gonna kind of see what I'm using, see what I'm loving, see what I don't love, and then pick up back in um, October, we're gonna see what needs to be shopped, what needs to be switched out and all that stuff, so. That was a lot, uh, but without further ado, let's just get started. Anyway, we'll start backwards. Let's start with lips. This is the Huda Beauty Liquid Matte Lipstick in the shade Trendsetter. I'm wearing it right now. Love this product. Love this liquid lipstick. Love this formula. Enough said. Um, I also use the NYX Lingerie Gloss in the shade um, Euro Trash. Don't know what that means. I don't like saying it, but I love this gloss as well. I actually had a NYX Liquid Lipstick that went bad. I had to throw it out the other day. Um, but this one is great. I love the smell of it. I don't know. I love this lip gloss. And then, oh my gosh, I also fell in love with this Dosa Colors lip, uh, lip gloss in the shade Messy Bun. It is just the prettiest. And for fall, she is so delicious because it's like, it's like juicy with the glossiness. But it's like plummy with the purple. But then it's not super deep or like vampy. It's none of those. It's like the perfect the perfect gloss for every day but it also like fall every day so i love that lip gloss for mascara i use the tarte lights camera lashes um mostly i use though the bucks and big t's mascara in the shade black is black um i like this mascara i don't hate it as much as i started to hate it i think again once formulas start to dry out i think sometimes they are just better when they're more dry and that's this one completely i think this one just gets better the more it dries is it my favorite mascara no, but I think I can wear this alone and feel fine about it, you know? Um, and the Tarte Slice Camera Lashes, I love, if you don't know. And, and then next for eyeshadow, we have the Elf Opposite Tract Palette. I'm just tired of this palette. I don't know what it is, but I'm tired of it. And I think, like, I'm really learning about myself a lot more. And I know that I get tired of things easily. I, I just, I knew that about myself. I've known it for a while now. But I didn't think that I would get, like, the reason why I declutter so much or the reason why I give stuff away so much is because I get tired of the makeup. And this, I really love this. I'm, like, telling Marissa, what's wrong with this? There's not nothing wrong. There's nothing, well... There's nothing wrong with it. I'm just tired of it. So this is kind of what inspired this because I really don't want to use this for the entire week. Um, I didn't want to use it for the entire week. So we're going to switch this out and I want to grab it when I want to grab it. I want to grab it when I want this shade. I want to grab it when I want this shade because those are my favorite, favorite, favorite shades. Um, so well, some of my favorite shades. So I just want to grab it when I want to grab it. I don't want to be forced to... Um, use it for an entire week. Um, I did like this palette. I didn't get many pictures because I really didn't use it all that much. Um really at all so sorry but I feel like this palette is just too big for my liking I like a baby small palette I just like it better all my other palettes this is probably my biggest palette and although this is not that big I feel like it's too big for me still so, so this is going away all right for brows I use the Wander Beauty pencil in the shade um what the heck am I saying oh it's the frame your face brow pencil in the shade taupe it works fine um this is I'm using a lot of this product up because it just is so hard that I have to press down really really hard but it's fine like I'm one of those products I'm just gonna use up and get out you know um no worries about her um and then I also um I use this wet and wild color icon 
I think it's liner in the shade Coal, whatever. It's the brown one. I like this eyeliner. I'm wearing it today. It's really, really nice. Um, my eyeliners are probably something that I'm going to have to shop my stash for because I need to focus on them. Because I don't use them enough. And this is so pretty. It's so stunning this week. So I'm probably going to use that again next week. All right. So just in, a, again, a random order. This is the Essence Pure Nude Highlighter. I have the shade number 10 be my highlight. I like this. I learned that I like this better with a um, fan brush. But right now, I'm not loving it because it is super light for me right now still. So I'm not obsessed with it as much as I was when I am lighter. When I was lighter. So I'm assuming that it's just due to my tan. So I just got to put it away. I just can't use it right now. All right. Next, let's talk about... Let's just talk about this, I guess. I'm trying to avoid it, but I don't want to. This is the Balm Beach Blush in the by the Balm. <laughs> um, it looks like this. It's a pretty basic shade. And it looks really natural, neutral on the face. This is a product that I'm actually going to put on the chopping block because I'm not sure if I love it. I'm going to put it in a drawer that has all my chopping block makeup in it. I know I rearrange my makeup every week, so I'm sorry. Anyway, um, so I'm not sure if I love this anymore. It is super light, and again, this is probably goes with the Essence one that I loved when I was lighter, so I don't know if it's because I'm so still pretty tan that these two just don't, aren't, they don't, I don't love them as much as I used to, if it's because of my tan. I'm not actually sure. So, um, yeah, this lady's going on the chopping block. Not in love. Um, I also use the Wet Mild Bronzer in the shade What Shady Beaches. I love this bronzer. My bronzers, again, they get really loved by me. They get rotated. Everything like that. It's cool. She's great. I love it. I love it. Um, I also had two powders. Um, this is the Essence All About Max Matte Fixing Compact Powder. I honestly did not use this once. Um, because I was really using this e.l.f. Uh, prime and safe finishing powder i love this in the shade light medium i love this powder i'll just take a big fluffy brush like this and just press it into the skin and i would avoid my nose and i press it into my skin and it's just beautiful i loved it um again uh i think i might have to shop my stash for powders because um um no i'll probably just use all of them because i just i just don't rotate them enough like i i know for a fact i'm probably not gonna get a lot of use out of this essence one in the next month because i want to use the elf one and other powders, you know? So, I don't know, but there's that. Oh, don't fall. Oh, I also, I forgot about this. This is the Ulta Beauty Lip and Cheek Color. This is another product that I'm just not in love with anymore. I love cream blushes. That's not the problem because I love my Benefit one, but I think it's just the shade is too, I don't like the shade. I'm not obsessed with it. I don't know what it is. It's like this, like, I don't even know. It's like a deep pink plum kind of shade. I don't know. It's a weird shade and I just don't love it. So we gotta put it on the chopping block as well. Um, and then I also had this Born This Way Natural Radiant Concealer. I have the shade Warm Medium. I love this concealer. Um, I really love this concealer with, I used, whoa, 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 I'm making a mess now. Is this NARS Sheer Glow Foundation a couple days. Um, and I really love this concealer with that because it was just like the nice, nicest amount of sheer coverage. But it just, I don't know, I'm wearing the combination today and I feel like it just makes my face look natural, nice, but also radiant, but also not dewy. But like, because it looks matte, but it just looks beautiful and radiant. And so I really love this concealer. I love that concealer. Um, and then I had the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Full Coverage Foundation of the shade F12.2. Um, this is, it's too full coverage for me right now. And uh, I know I'm just not in it. So again, this is another product that kind of inspired this me not shopping my session this week because I was stuck with this one foundation technically because I shot my stash for it but I really did not want to use this one it was just too full coverage I wasn't about it um and then I had the Milani Prime Perfection face primer honestly oh my gosh I'm looking at it right now and I'm like pretty much done with it I gotta just crank it out and use the rest of it it's just was not hydrating enough for this foundation and so sometimes this foundation looks super super dry and this found this primer did not do it for me so I have to use this in combination um, with another thing. But I feel like, again, on my primers, I just rotate naturally because some days I want hydro, some days, like, I want to try them all. So, um, yeah. All right, and then next I had the, um, the last thing I had was this Hydrate Setting Spray. I love this setting spray. It smells so bomb, so bomb. So bomb. I'm glad, like, why well, I look crazy, but I'm glad, like, it's getting, the weather's getting cooler because I can use this more, and I, I missed it so much. So, again, setting sprays are something that I rotate naturally. This one was the only one that was pretty neglected in my stash. By the way, my stash was neglected. made a cook up if I didn't say that because I didn't. <laughs> um, but this one was pretty neglected, but now that it's getting um, cooler outside, I think I'm going to use this a lot more. So, I was really excited about this. I love this product. Love her. So we're going to go shop my stash for products that um, 
for standout products that I really want to use. So let's go do that. Okay, so just quickly starting up here. Again, I change my makeup like every single week, but it's just like fun for me. I don't know. So what products for primer? I have all my primers kind of back here. I really don't want to focus on any of them except for this little sample. This is the No Pore Bloom Primer. Uh... Yeah, touch by Touch and Soul. So it's a little sample. I want to use that. But other than that, I feel like I rotate through my primers again pretty regularly. I know what I want. I know what I want to use. So those are okay. Um, same with foundations. The only one I want to, again, focus on is this uh, Lancome sample thing. I don't know what it is. Uh, full coverage foundation. I don't know. I want to focus on that for sure one day. And then the rest, again, I rotate through my foundations pretty, pretty frequently. These are my more full coverage ones. These are my more like medium coverage ones. And this one's definitely the lightest coverage of them all. So, um, yeah, just thought I should tell you that. Uh, same with my concealers. They're pretty rotated as well as my setting sprays. They're all pretty, pretty rotated. Um, so I'm just going to go on with that. Um, for my mascaras here something else um i don't know i feel like i could rotate um my mascara is pretty pretty often i don't think i want to focus on one i do i want to focus on this ill maquillage one this one's not in my project pan but i think this one's the one that's probably the closest to being dried out so we are going to focus on this one just to use it up how about that and then i have this primer down here because it obviously doesn't fit up there but there's that and then this little baby foundation that again i could just use naturally and just all that stuff is okay down there i think all right so first drawer up here is neglected products so i really i mean not neglected sorry is chopping block products products i don't know if i want to keep especially not after project panning them but the only things i'm going to pull actually the only thing i'm going to pull i think from here is this um ps liquid metal single eyeshadow i think i'm going to pull all my like single things um we'll see them in a different drawer but this one for sure because i want to know how i feel about it so we're going to pull that one And then powders, face palettes, again, pretty rotated. Don't need to pull anything out of there. Same with blushes, bronzers, and highlighters. Pretty rotated. Don't feel like I need to force myself to use any of them because I love them all so much. So these are okay. Oh my gosh. All right, so then these are palettes and singles. So again, I'm going to pull all of these singles, I think. One, two, three, four, five. Five, that sounds like a lot. But I have them for a month, so I can just play around with all of these, um, see what I think. But I really want to highlight on them so that I know if I like them or not. Um, I have these cream ones, and then I have the Natasha Dona Estate Moods, all those. So we'll use those. I'm not going to use my tart, my ColourPop Super Stock Shadow because I feel like it's not summer anymore, and I don't want to use that anymore. Okay, so for palettes, again, I feel like I want to be able to just grab whatever palette I want. But I do want to highlight kind of... Um, I don't know, use this Laura Lee Los Angeles Cat's Pajama Palette. This is my next oldest palette in my collection next to my Dream Sheet Palette. So I really want to use these. And I think some of these shadows will look really nice with like my singles um, because they're so neutral. So we're going to pull this. But also I want to pull my Too Faced Tickled Peach Palette because I'm getting a, the new Hot Buttered Rum Palette. And so I want to do a bunch of videos like comparing the two, having the two, and stuff like that. So we're going to use those for eyeshadow again it seems like a lot but we have an entire month this time so i'll reach in here when i need to or when i feel like i want to use something else but for now this is what it's going to be all right and then the last drawer down here you can't even see any of that <laughs> the last drawer down here are like liquid lipsticks um um some lip glosses are down there eyeliners brow pencils all that stuff i feel like most of this is rotated pretty pretty often i actually am going to pull this one up I'm going to pull these two little babies up because I feel like because it's all the way in the bottom drawer, I'm not going to want to reach for them often. That's so bad, but it's the truth because I'm lazy. So we're going to pull these up there as well. Is that it? You know, I think we're okay. The rest of them, I'm sure I'll rotate. If not, then like they have to just go to the um, chopping block stash because I don't know if I'm going to use them. I think I want to pull these up though and put them in a different bin. I don't know. We'll probably reorganize them. But anyway, that's all I'm going to shop my stash for. Okay, so no need to set the camera back up. These are the products that I want to just definitely highlight in the next month or so. So I have my cream um, liquid eyeshadows over here, some singles, my mascara, uh, mascara base and eyeliner, the No Pore Bone Primer, the Lancome Foundation, um, the Too Faced Tickled Peach, and the Laura Lee Los Angeles Cat's Pajama Palette. So those are the products that I want to highlight. And also the Too Faced Buttered Rum Palette will be up here too soon. So those are the products that I want to highlight next week. 
Okay, so real quick, I forgot to mention, I want to start getting back to, that was the ugliest, like, move up ever. I don't know why I just did that and still kept talking. Anyway, I want to get back to um, reading scriptures at the end of each video. I watched, I don't remember her name, um, but I watched her video earlier today and I was kind of just inspired because I, I kind of lost that along the way keeping my faith the center of this whole channel or whatever and like just the fun of filming and remembering like um you know the ultimate joy and all that stuff so I really wanted to um get back to doing that so I'm actually going to read Psalms 23 if you guys have heard it then you know you know the goodness of this passage anyway um it's the lord is my shepherd i will have everything i need he lets me rest in fields of green grass he leads me besides the quiet waters he makes me strong again he leads me in the way of living right with himself which brings honor to his name yes even if i walk through the valley of the shadow of death i will not be afraid of anything because you are with me you have a walking stick which will help with which to guide and with and one with which to help these comfort me. You are making a table food ready for me in front of those who hate me. You have poured oil on my head. I have everything I need. For sure you will give me goodness and loving kindness all the days of my life. Then I will live to you in your house forever. Um, it's just kind of a great, I don't know. I love the passage. A lot of people do. Just because it's the ultimate like, um, I don't know how to explain it. It's like one of those things. It's just like, God, thank you. Because you give me all this stuff and I am and I don't even, and I sometimes forget to pray in a day. And he still does all this stuff for me, um, you know. And when I'm scared, he's there for me. And all these, just all these things. He feeds me when I'm hungry and all these things that I don't even deserve that. And he does it. And so I just love God so much. And I love, and I love his word. And I want to get back into reading it and telling everybody on this channel that, um, that God is good and he loves you and that is always with you. Um, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, you can comment down below or DM me at makeup underscore Marissa 612. I don't do that for the followers. I literally, you don't even have to follow me. You can just DM me if you have questions. I'll answer them for you. That's it for this video, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in my next one. Bye, guys.